welcome. My name is Trini C, and I'm here on stage live. Uh, and today is going to be an amazing day because I have the honor of talking about two black festivals that are here that happen in the state of Minnesota in the Twin Cities that have been vital to our community for the last 40 years, like when I tell you 40 years. We'll have guests from Carrie Fest again, and we also will have the one and only Mr. Gail Smaller representing Rondo Days Festival, which is the strongest black festival probably in the nation that's been happening in St. Paul, Minnesota, forever and ever, and it's back. We haven't done this since 2019. Correct. So we're excited to have the one and only Gail Smaller in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Tell everybody, um, who are you? Yeah, uh, my name is Gail Smaller. Um, I'm the son of Floyd Smaller, who is um, one of the co-founders of Rondo Days. Rondo Days. And what is Rondo Days? Uh, Rondo Days is a festival. So um, when my dad went away to college in the 60s and came back home, he found that um, his community was decimated by 94. So him and a couple of his partners from his Crazy Eight gang when he was a kid, um, decided that they wanted to create a festival to make the community remember um, the history that existed there within the Rondo communities. And so when Rondo was formed, that's where it got its name, Remember Rondo Days. And so what year will this be? How, when did it actually start? Yeah, so Rondo Days first started in 1983, so mm -hmm. this year will actually be the 40th annual. Say that again, use your outside voice, the 40th? Yeah, this will be the 40th. The 40th year, y'all, yeah. Rondo Days, R-O-N-D-O. -O. Rondo Days has been fundamental. Let me tell you, when I first came to St. Paul to visit, the first weekend I was here, this festival went in front of my family's house on Concordia. At right. that time, we had a house on Concordia, and we had a house on Carroll. We still have the house on Carroll. Um, 826 Concordia. And so I was like, what is this? Coming from Trinidad, I was like, what is this? This right. parade. They had all the dancing. And it was, for me, as a visitor, as a visitor at that yeah. time in summer, it was something that I was like, oh, there is black people here. Yep. There's Believe people that look like me. Yeah. Oh, this place is fun. Yeah. And I thought it was just the parade that was happening. Right. But it was a, a culmination of things that, that was going on. When does Rondo Days usually take place? The third Saturday, Saturday in, July. in July. Right, yep. so this year it will be July? 20th. July 20th, y'all. Yep. Um, and it's gonna be happening in St. Paul. Of course, yeah, at the uh, Martin Luther King Center. At the Martin Luther King Center. So when I tell you about blackness and how great blackness is, not only is it a black festival, but it's also gonna be at a historical black location in St. Paul, yeah. which is off the corner of Concordia, which is now Rondo, right? Yep, so Rondo and McCubbin. Rondo and McCubbin, which is right off of Dale in 94. Um, and so actually a couple weeks ago, there was a very important monumental event that happened that your family is probably a huge integral part of, yeah. where Concordia was officially named Rondo Avenue. Rondo Avenue. Before that, your dad actually has an avenue named after him he as does. well. Yes, right? He does. Yes, he does. That has to be, I have sons, so that yeah. has to be like, um, do you just look at your father every day, most of the day, because we know it is with parents, and be like, you are just great, like greatness, like. No, I no? don't. No, no, he's a regular human being Yeah, too? he get on my nerves. No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, I mean, he's, he's a legend. Right. I mean, he's done so much for the St. Paul community, so much for the Minneapolis community, um, you know, and with him passing the torch to me, uh, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Pretty so, big shoes to fill. Yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. And, um, you know, he's my mentor, so yes. I talk to him every day, and he's kind of guiding me through everything yeah. and all the small details mm -hmm. that, you know, make Rondo Days Rondo right. Days. And yeah. so this will actually be my third year in charge. So, right. you know, he's a little nervous, but yeah. you know, we're excited about it. And, you know, bringing mm -hmm. it back after kind of a four year hiatus right. due to George Floyd and, and COVID. COVID. And, and we had to respect that, yeah, yeah. You know, and so, and my dad was like, nope, 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 not mm -hmm. yet. And so he gave us the green light this year. Right. So we're gonna go ahead and plow forward mm -hmm. and we're excited about it. Yeah, and when I tell you about the smaller family within the St. Paul community and beyond, they're not just monumental and important at this time of year. All through the year, they are an amazing family. They have black businesses within oh. the St. Paul Selby Avenue. They continue to do stuff within Rondo. So it's not just a one and done festival and you guys are here to get your shine. It's continuous no. work. Um, and I really, again, as somebody that's transplanted into the community and then had the honor to raise a family in the community, I am all day long St. Paul. You would have to like, I don't think, you, you could pay me a million dollars to move to anywhere else yeah. right now unless I had to go take care of my mom right. um, because it's home. And so 
Um, another thing is it is there, that whole community is still built and continues to grow with blackness. Yeah. There's barber shops, there's flower shops, there's yep. candy shops, there's lip esteem with yeah. lips, you know, and, and people are doing their part to keep that blackness, keep that African-American heritage within that community. Well, and that's the point of Rondo Days, right? It's kind of a time where, you know, during that time period when 94 came, a lot of those black families got relocated. Displaced, displaced. from one displaced. side of the bridge to the other side of yeah, the bridge, literally, then, yeah. And then over time, like with gentrification and different things and rise in property, you right. know, a lot of that community was broken apart. And so Rondo Days is kind of that time where all of these legacy families and all of the people that were originally from this right. neighborhood can come back together right. for this week in July mm -hmm. and bond and enjoy each other and get to see each other right. and reconnect. Right. Um, and it's know, something so. for everybody. It is. We're trying is. to do it where it's something, you guys are trying to do it where it's something. And when I say we, I've had the honor to volunteer. So, and I was on an odd stage host. So if you guys hear me say we, 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 um, I'm just in the background helping Gail with his team. But um, it's something for everybody. You're, this week you're going to, and we'll talk about that in our next so, uh, session, but you're going to do something for everybody where it's not just like for the 20 and 30 year olds. It's from zero all yeah. the way to 100, yeah. right? No, we honor each generation. Um, one of the things that we're really doing this year is kind of opening it up so that everybody can experience it. And as the neighborhood is changing racially, different, different demographics are coming, you know, the festival is even that much more important because right. a lot of people coming to the neighborhood need to understand the history. Period. And how the neighborhood was built. And, and to respect that. Exactly. Right. Respect that yeah. legacy of this being a historic right. African-American community. Right. So. And, and like, we get passionate. I remember I was one time at the <laughs> restaurant Taste Rondo and somebody did had no clue. They were visiting and they were talking about the community and this, that, and the other. And I, as a Rondo resident, was like, mm like very like you know yeah, like yeah. this is what no. do you mean this is our child what you talking about right. um but yeah it is uh i'm super excited for it. i i was just on the phone on the way in i'm excited to have you guys on the show and talk about rondo as well as carrie fest will be in their 30th year yeah. which is um the year the week after and so um it's important i i know like last night when you were asking about what artists should be bring i was actually you know, tapping into my sons. Yeah, yeah. Because like we say, it is something for everybody. And I was like, hey guys, what's your feedback on which artist is better? And they didn't say nothing about it's too old school or nothing. Cause again, the old school music is coming back. Well, you know, and that's the headliner, right? So we right. build it up with the younger yes. artists, but you know, we like to end the night off with folks right. for us. So, right. you know, that's just kind of how it is. And then of course, and I'm not giving it away cause y'all are gonna have to come to see it. <laughs> but of course, um, there'll be local talent that will be yeah, there. No, for sure. Yeah. Um, we, we pull the best of the best of the local talent. Um, you know, we've been doing that for, you know, about 30 years within right. Rondo Days. Right. Um, and really giving local artists a chance to shine yeah. um, on stage with some national artists. Um, and I think that that's key. You know, right. Rondo Days is really about the art of the community, the culture mm -hmm. of the community. And so every opportunity we have, right. whether if it's a visual artist or entertainer, um, you know, we try to use Rondo as a stage to prop those artists up and show our support. Right. And so um, before we go to break, tell people, how can people find information right now about Rondo Days if they were looking for it, if they wanted to be a sponsor, a vendor, and or come to the actual events? Yeah, so right now you can just go to the um, Rondo Days Facebook page and then you can start there and then just navigate for the things that you need and it'll tell you exactly where yeah. to go. And there'll be a lot of updates that are going to happen to the Rondo. That's yeah. R-O-N-D-O. Days with an S yep. on Facebook, all social media. Will, um, just remember, it's for people that are searching the information, it's coming back. So after what you, what you said, a four-year hiatus, we have yeah. to get the information back out there and do yep. whatever. Um, and so what are you, before we go to break, what are you most excited about for this year? Um, Rondo days. I mean, you know, we, <laughs> my summers have been a little dull, you right. know, without Rondo days. Period. And so even though it's a lot of work, I mean, you know, we put in a lot of hours just to see the smiles on the faces, to see the elders enjoying themselves and right. interacting with the youth. Um, you know, this year we're, we're spending a lot of energy on taking care of the young people and the elders. And so we'll talk about just that bringing that multi-generational yes. pieces together yes. is just, you know, it's exciting. And right. also being able to work with the team that we've put together. We All have right. an amazing Shout squad out to the team. That's, yeah. that's helping us out Because there's no year, I in so. team, right? No, right. not at all. Again, my name is Trini C. I'm here with Gail Smaller. We are here talking about Rondo Days. It will be the 40th year. We'll be right back after this break.
My name's E.B. Marie, and when I'm in the Twin Cities, I watch On Stage Live on Hip Hop Nation, brought to you by First World TV. So I am back, like I said, with the one and only Gail Smaller, and also I'm excited. Shout out to the Timberwolves, rocking their hat. They doing hard work. We're so excited for them. Yeah. Um, and so we are talking about the one of the one of the largest Black festivals in the state of Minnesota, probably the largest and the most uh, concurrent. Um, Rondo Days, and this will be the 40th year that yeah. Rondo Days is happening, July 20th, um, over in St. Paul, Correct. off of Dale and 94, um, and so which is now going to be off of what is called Old Rondo yeah. and um, McCubbin, yeah. uh, next to the King Center. And so, can you tell people about like it's not just the day? There's actually yeah. this year going to be a full week. Is that what I heard? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things is when Rondo Days first started in 1983, it was actually one of the first. Um, multi-day festivals in Minnesota. Right. And so over time it kind of The first. Away. Outside voice guys, the first, yes. Yeah. So then over time it kind of moved away from that. I think it's still the only as far yeah. as black festivals, yeah. Um, and then it kind of moved away from that and kind of was really focused on that Saturday. Right. But one of the things that that we believe is during the hiatus, you know, really focusing and rerouting Rondo Days in its original idea and yeah. so what our goal was was to go ahead and bring back those multiple days because nice. everybody even though it was one day everyone right. still said rondo right. days right? right and so and it's summertime wanted... people might not be able to get to get to the actual day but exactly. want to support right yeah and it's different styles right? right so throughout the week there's different events for different yep. people um yep. that can appeal to different ideas so if you if you're not necessarily interested in coming to the festival there's still multiple opportunities right. to engage and connect okay. with people perfect yeah. and so Starting Monday, is that it? Monday, yes. Monday, so, okay. So Monday the fifteenth will be um, our first. July fifteenth, everybody. Yeah. Yep. July fifteenth, it will be our first uh, opening ceremony. Opening ceremony. Yeah. So we'll we'll start incorporating the opening mm -hmm. ceremony, which happens on Monday. Right. And everything is going to take place in the Rondo community. So Correct. Monday will be the opening ceremony, most likely in the evening. Yeah, yeah, so it'll be from about 6 to 8. Okay, so more information coming about that. And then yep. Tuesday is... Yep, Tuesday, um, we have an amazing photographer from the Rondo community, um, Mr. Roosevelt Mansfield. Shout out, know, Diggy. Yeah, I don't know if you guys <laughs> got a chance to see his exhibit that ran this summer, um, but he's amazing. And so we'll have our um, the opening night for his photo exhibit um, that will be exhibiting old Rondo photographs along with new photographs that he'll right. be taking. Um, and he's going to curate the show. Nice. And the show will actually run throughout the whole week, but right. Tuesday is will be the opening official, night. Official opening night. Correct. All right. Woo! I'm, I'm already like, okay, and then Wednesday? Yep, and then Wednesday night, um, we'll actually be doing movies in the park. Movies so, in the park, y'all. Something for everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so that'll be a, a nice time for the families to come out, you know, kind of pre-festival and just kind of kick back, enjoy mm -hmm. some movie, popcorn, kind of hang out with right. each other. So, nice. yeah, we're excited about that right. as well. Um, and so that was Wednesday. That's the 17th, Movies in the Park. Yep. And then we roll into Thursday. And then Thursday, yeah. So then Thursday night, um, we have a spoken word tribute. Um, we pull together a lot of the old heads that kind of helped kind of launch the spoken word movement nice. in Minnesota um, in the 97, 98, yeah. 99, around that time period. And they're going to write a collection of poems um, as a tribute to the Rondo neighborhood. Nice. Um, and so, yeah, so that would be pretty amazing. We're excited about that as well. And Friday, Friday is... Friday's dear to my heart too. Tell yeah. me about Friday. Yep. So Friday night. Um, While we're setting up us volunteers and stuff. Yeah. 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 So Friday night we're <laughs> gonna do a happy hour. That's gonna be a tribute to um, Arnella. Um, Miss and Arnella. I know yes. If you know anything about St. Paul and if you've been out after nine o'clock, you've been yeah. Arnella. So may she rest um, in peace. Yeah. And she's yes. you know she's a missing pillar in the community. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to give a shout out to her. Um, and celebrate her on that Friday right. and her family as well. Yeah. And so Miss Arnella was the only black woman in the state of Minnesota to own a bar. Correct. Period. And continued to stay in a bar and do the bar and restaurant beverage business for over 25 years. Yes. She was very instrumental to my career uh, as far as promoting because I did a lot of events there, including dance hall queen, fashion shows, um, and just a pillar if you needed somewhere to have a repass, a political yep. event, anything. So shout out to the Arnellas family. We miss you dearly, and we are grateful because a lot of us wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that venue. Yeah. Yep. And then Saturday is the big day. Yeah, Saturday is the main day. So right. um, we're excited about Saturday and, you know, 
know, if you haven't been, you might not want to miss it. Yes. Um, it's it's a collaboration of a bunch of beautiful black people coming together and having and everybody's a really good welcome. It's because it's a black festival. Everybody yeah. is welcome. Yes. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. And then we have a new addition. Um, we've um, last week uh, we partnered to with end it um, with, with Walker West yes. on that Sunday. So on Sunday. Um, Walker West will be doing a jazz gospel concert okay. to kind of wrap up the week. Right. So, so it's yeah. six days of greatness, yep. starting from the opening ceremony, go all the way through doing a photography, doing spoken word, doing movies in the park, doing an actual happy hour dedicated to the family of Miss yep. Arnella and yep. herself and that venue. And then Saturday is the actual Rondo Day Festival that will be in the park. Yep. Um, and then Sunday, there'll be um, something with Walker West. And so um, I just, I'm so ready, but I'm, I know we're not ready for the event. Um, it's every year people was like, where's Rondo Days? Where's Rondo Days? Where's right. Rondo Days? And I knew what was happening. I right. couldn't say. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it takes a while to bake a good cake. Yeah, and, um And good things come in time. And so what are some of the goals that the team is looking to accomplish this year as far as Rondo Days? Yeah, really, it's this festival is really about rerouting Rondo Days in its original form, um, really making the focus remembering that community. So there's going to be a lot around education, a lot about providing information, um, as well as having a good time. Right. You know, because you're working with the black educators. There's, there's so yeah, many amazing, shout yeah. out to the team again, because there's so many people on yeah, the team definitely. that is bringing greatness. Sorry, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, and they're yeah, all, yeah, they're yeah. all Rondo babies. Yes. So they understand the legacy, they understand the history, and it's really just about, mm -hmm. you know, having fun, but then also providing the community with information and awareness right. and just really bringing that community back together. Right. Um, you know, people have missed each other. Yeah. During our hiatus, yes. my phone would just be ringing yeah. and blowing up all the yeah. time. You know, I mean, people yes. wanted to beat me up, you yeah. know, when I'm at the cafe in yeah. St. Paul because they missed it, yeah. you know. And, and, and that's so, important that you say people's missed each other because the yeah. connection, people's missed connection, healthy connection, yep. it's affected a lot of people's mental health. People have become yep. isolated. Yeah. Um, so I'm really hoping that especially a lot of our seniors, our, our Rondo baby seniors yep. that are left, will be out and enjoying and take pride in that you guys are, like you said, carrying the torch. Yeah. And, and we're going to spoil the elders, yes. you know. We, have, we, we have are a, going we to have, spoil the elders. Yeah, we yes. have a we have a really nice jazz brunch scheduled for them on that Saturday. Yes. So um, to make sure that they come out and have yeah. a good time. And so, you know, Rondo Days has really been the glue for that community Period. for a long time. And so, yeah. you know, we're excited to be able to bring back the right. glue. Um, and so we got two minutes left. Is there any um, specific things more you want to share uh, outside of Rondo Days? You can look on the Facebook page. The website's going to be up in a yeah. couple days. Vendor registration will happen. Sponsorship, yeah. if you want to be a sponsor. Yeah. Always looking for sponsors. But anything else in the next two minutes that you want to talk about? Um, no. First, just thank you for, yeah. you know, all of your help with Rondo Days and allowing us the opportunity to come on your amazing show and, and share the details of, of our course. event. Um, the other thing is I'm just excited. Um, make sure you come out. Um, bring your friends. Bring your family. Bring your kids. Bring your mom, your dad, right. everybody, your cousins, all that kind yeah. of stuff. So. Walk with your chairs. Walk with your sunscreen, people. Yeah. Yeah, your water, all of that good stuff. Um, well, they just planted like 40 trees, so yeah. we, we should have a little bit more <laughs> right. shade than the last yeah, couple Yeah, but definitely years. your chairs or your blankets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Again, I'm here with the one and only Gail Smaller. He is one of the co-founders. His dad patched the torch down to him of Rondo Days. It will be the 40th annual Rondo Days that is taking place July 20th in St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota. It is the strongest black festival in the state of Minnesota. If you do not know about what Rondo is, please Google it. It is very important for you to know about your community, not just our community. Um, and again, find the social media information yeah. on Facebook, R-O-N-D-O. -O. Any shout outs you want to give? Um, just to the board and obviously to Floyd Smaller, um, you know, and then just my family, you know, they, they hold me down yes. and make it possible and support me during the long hours. Yes, so. exactly. Shout out to the family behind the scenes that are holding yeah, our hands definitely. and keeping us sane or giving us a piece of sanity. Yeah. Man, I'm honored to be in this space with well, you. Every you. time I see you, I just, it's just building. It's life building. I'm glad you're a part of my journey. And um, yeah, people, come out. We're going to talk about another festival uh, in the next few moments, but um, come out and support the, you know things are happening yeah. it's going to be a good holistic event um something that you want to do something what you want to come back to do and um can i eat rum cake for breakfast you I, can eat whatever you want right. yes it's your birthday it was <laughs> his birthday a, a couple weeks ago so thank you we'll be right back after this moment thanks 
Yeah.